Good morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, known as Trike Man, coming to you live from Lano, Texas, downtown by the River Bridge. That is an electric trike from electrictrikes.com. I really enjoy it. Check it out. If you use Rusty50 as a code, you get 50 bucks off. Anyway, what I'm going to show you now. <clears throat> Years ago, there was a big, huge, big buck deer here in Lano, Texas. This is the deer capital of Texas. And a deer was running full speed and ran into a tree, ran head on into a tree. And this could only happen in Texas, I promise you, because I'm going to show you what happened. In just a second here, as soon as I get close enough to show you the picture, let me show you what it is. But here it is right here. See what that deer did when he hit that tree? It's amazing, isn't it? Been there all this time. Just like that. Looks like he's alive, but he's not part of that tree. That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that rack. Boy, you talk about a trophy. Mm, mm, mm. True story, though. Running full speed, hit the tree head on, and that's what happened. True story. Anyway, the artist on this is Joaquin Cortez. Find him on Facebook at Joaquin Cortez Art. So having said that, say goodbye to the deer. That's really good, though, I have to admit. We will now trike, man. We'll now triketh across the bridges and see what happeneth, happeneth. Get on the trike, tracker, man. I got my soda water up here. I had it in the back a while ago, and it fell over. I lost about a third of it before I realized I had dropped it. So now I'm going to hold the camera like this, and we're going to go as soon as I get get rolling, trike, man. Okay, we're. Trike man triketh. Triketh across bridges in Lano, Texas. Here we go, guys. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, here we go. Let me show you. Over here, that's the Lano River. Not bad. Okay, we're going to try. I'm going to trike, I think. If my sody doesn't turn over again, I'm, let me hold on. Hold on, trike man. Whoa, horsey. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got it in the position where I thought it wouldn't. There, I think I got it better now. But you can see the river down there. It's a beautiful view from up here of the river. And that's why I like to hold the camera as opposed to having it in the holder. Okay? Because you can see the river that way. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see narrow, nothing. You just see straight ahead. Beautiful little river here in Lano, the Lano River. It'll flood, boy, it does, it does, it does, it does. Not often, but when it does, it rears up and takes houses and everything. We are triking at Warp 8. Warp 8, Scotty. We're going to go over here and go by my lots. I've triked into town. I've been triking for about an hour already. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Beautiful day. It's uh, overcast, as you can see. Cool, uh, which is nice this time of the year. June, uh, whatever it is, 29th, whatever. The, the end of June, I'd say. Yeah, we got some nice stuff here. I'll show you. Got to slow down because I got to make a two the two nineties here. Two ninety degree turn. One bump, bump, bump. There's an old house right there, an old building. I could live in that if they'd let me. Okay, there's a guy walking his dog, and I'm hoping he'll get ahead of me so I don't have. Well, let me get off here. I'll get off right here and then I can be on the side of the street and be out of his way and everybody be happy including me if I don't get run over. Let me get going here. Now we're going to turn right here on train station drive. They actually do have a train station. Right here, got a caboose you can go look at. See right there? Used to have cabooses on trains, they don't have them anymore. So here's a deer here too, this thing's live. Here's another live deer in Lano, Texas. Huh? How do you like that outfit? Not many deer uh, do that anymore around here. 
But yeah, this is the train station. Does the, do they does, do they come in here on trains? I don't know. There's no passenger car. When I say old, I mean O L D. Right there. There's no railroad passenger car. You can go on it. Uh, not much in it. A few old drunks and me. <laughs> That's my new home, guys. You know, you could do that. You could get you an old railroad car. Problem is getting it hauled to your lot. There's a place over here I would love to own. I'll show it to you. You may be able to see it in the video now. But I've driven by it a hundred times. And if they ever put it up for sale, I swear I'll buy it. I'm telling you, it's so neat. This little place right here, the little one room house, or, you know, that's just what I need right there. Absolutely. That would work perfectly. Somebody lives there. And they, it's got a nice lot, nice area, because there's no trains come through here. But yeah, it's uh, pretty neat, isn't it? I would say that's probably, let's see, one, two, maybe 14 by 14. But isn't that neat? I mean, that is too cool, huh? Anyway, you can hear my cut rattling there. I just love that because the street's a little rough. What can I do with it to stop it from rattling? Drink it and throw it away, but I ain't gonna do that right now because that's my treat but for later. So it just, it'll just have to rattle. You know, I need a holder in the back. You know, of course, you know, hindsight's 20-20. Hold on a minute. Hold everything, Rusty. Hold everything. Got to be a better way to do this. You know what I mean? I have a plan. You know what I mean? But I don't know that it's going to work. Is this going to be any better? See what I did? I just straightened it up. Let's see if it's any better. And the answer is, no, it's worse. <laughs> you want to find out where something is, find out where it ain't. Well, it, it ain't where I just did it. And if I hold it with my right hand, we'll really be riding here. I could put the phone on the deal and enjoy it. There's a cat over there crouched for the attack. Can't hardly see it, but it's there. One of those little skinny downtown rodent cats, you know what I mean? Look at that cat. Talk about in the crouch, ready to go. The attack mode. Here's the Lano Feed and Supply, busiest place in town. One of them, it's not, it's not open on Sunday. Big business here, though. And look what they make. You see these little building-looking things there? Those are deer blinds. And this is the deer hunting capital of Texas, I promise. When deer season opens the first Saturday in November every year, this place, those are all deer feeders there. You know, first you feed them, you get them used to coming up to the feeder, and then when they come up during deer season, you shoot them. <laughs> and the crazy thing about deer season too, it happens, deer season is right in the rut. Okay, the rut is the mating season for the deer. So I don't think that's fair because the old buck ain't looking for the deer hunters. I can tell you that. I got to change this thing one more time. One more time, Rusty. What are you going to do now? I got another plan. I got another plan. This is the pa That was the plan of the century there. See, I tripled it up there. See what happens now. Okay, there's Wildfire Dance Yoga Studio. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> if I had a string or something, I'd tie it up. But I ain't got one. You know what I mean? Jelly bin. Uh, let me do this. Maybe I can kind of do this, kind of wedge that in there, and that'll hold it. You think? Oh, I got. An, I tried another angle. Oh, oh, that's okay. It falls backward like that. That ain't hurting nothing. Just so it doesn't turn sideways. That's a cute little house. Notice those rocks. And then on we go. There's some old buildings here. But we're go this is the street that I bought the lots on. <clears throat> this is East Tarrant, T-A-R-R-A-N-T. And it's uh, you go up the hill so you don't have to worry about the uh, floodplain, you know what I mean? When we get up to the lots, I'll take a break. And uh, drink my soda. I just knew I was going to get rain though and I'm not too sure I'm not yet. Come on trike thing. There's some people. How you doing? 
I'm just doing so good. I can't hardly stand. I love those boots. <laughs> How y'all? Y'all moving? Yeah. Moving in or out? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, that's that girl I saw at the bank the other day. She said she was my neighbor. That's another thing. People, in a small town, you better be careful what you say to anybody because you'll find out that they're their, their cousins or uncles or brothers or sisters. And, uh, you know, they know where everybody works and what time they get there and where they live and the whole thing. Now, that's a neat little house right here. That is a pretty little home. And that's on my street. And here, here, if you look out here to the right, so you can see the hill country all across there. And that's why people buy out here, because they got a decent view on most lots. The downside of it is on most of these lots that face that way, which would be, let me think, south. Is that right? Uh, let me think. Yeah, that's south. That's south. And then here's one for sale. You know, it's kind of a, got a steep slope. <clears throat> but you could work with that, you know what I mean? And still have you a good view. And I feel some drops of rain, not bad, but a few intermittent drops. And we're headed, we're getting warm, guys, we're getting warm. Got a four-way stop here. I'll kind of do one of my fake things. This road here goes right down the dead end. There's a ranch down there, believe it or not. Runs right along the Lano River. Okay, trike man, get the trike in here. We go up a hill again, so we're kind of climbing here, getting up in the elevation. The elevation of the city of Lano is 1,020 feet, I think, and the elevation out here is 1,200 feet. You know, there's the lot I was originally looking at up there when I met the owner of the lots I bought by pure accident. Yeah, he walked over and we were talking and said, you gonna buy this lot? And I said, I, I doubt it, probably a little too much for me. And uh, this, this house is kind of across the street from me, but it's completely vacant. And then I got that vacant lot up here. This is my neighbor to the west of my lot right here. Elderly couple. And then the, the guy that owned the land is named Riley. He, sold these lots to me right here. And then we'll get out and just I'll stop the trike. Anyway, that's, the, that's my view across from my lots, which is great. There's no home directly across from my lots at all. The issue I have with these lots in addition to getting water is uh, <clears throat> when this old township was developed here in Lano, they they had a, a, a some kind of a furnace thing out here in this area and a, a lot of factory type stuff and i'll show you what i mean there's some curbs out here on this property that have to be either removed or modified see right here you might be able to see this curbing right here and then right up here is some more it's not very deep i checked that out it can be moved pretty easy i think Here's some more curbing right here. And then where I'm going to put the building, if I can get, get everything approved, is between that crepe myrtle and these mesquites. And then this tree here is dying. It's fixing to fall over anyway. So it's going to go, and that'll give me a view. <clears throat> and then, of course, this old stump over here will get rid of that thing. Here's the, the hole. I don't know what this is. You know what I mean? It's not an animal because that's concrete all around it. I don't know if there was a storm shelter or something there, so that needs to be explored and filled in. And so, see, you got whenever you buy a piece of property, these are the little things. I mean, even though I spotted that one before I bought it, uh, it's, not a, it's certainly not a deal killer. It's just something to be aware of. And then they're right here. It, it's, it, there's a low spot right in here. 
you know what I mean? It just kind of, for some reason, the ground just kind of dropped down here. I don't know if it's because something was pumped out from under it, or maybe they had a trench here or something. But, and then up here, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, because they got nothing else to do, I guess. Uh, but up here, you know, if you ever go walking in brush or stuff like this with Crocs on, don't wear socks. Why? Because you can wipe your feet off, but if stuff get little seeds and crap get stuck in your socks, it's hell to get that stuff out. And then we'll go up here, see. This is that. I think I may have shown you all this before. I'm going to show you again. But this is some kind of deal that went with whatever they had on this property. Some kind of concrete thing. They think it was a storm shelter at one time. And then this over here, of course, there's some more of that concrete right, right in here. But that's, this is not in the way. This, this can stay. I'm not going to bother this. And then over here is the rock pile. I mean, just hundreds of rocks stacked up. Years ago, they used to make fences using rocks like that. And that's what that is. That's just the rocks that was here for a fence. And they just stacked them up here in this corner in the back, which is just where a bunch of brushes. This corner will stay just like that. You can rest assured of that. But uh, there's my neighbor on the east side. Yeah, it's real quiet here. I came out here in the evening a couple of times to check it out and it's just fine. See, you can go down this way. Now this curbing ends right here. Yeah, it's right in here where that ends right there. And then, uh, you know, there's just, there's some little concrete things here and there and yon that need to be either removed. And then there's a concrete deal up here. I may move the, uh, I may move the home back, you know, move it far back. Cause see right here at the back, you got like a row of crepe myrtles and they're really, I love the blooms. I just don't want anything hanging over the roof or anything touching the home. So what I might do is come out here about maybe eight or 10 feet in front of those crepe myrtles and use this area here. Cause I've only, the house is only, or the one I'm looking at, it's only like 14 feet wide by 28 feet long. So yeah, it would sit here and it would give me a better view because I'd be a little higher up on the property. The property kind of slopes gradually down this way, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we'll let this go a couple of minutes while I'm wandering around here talking to myself. I know this is really exciting, isn't it? Well, that's the way my videos are gonna be, folks, <laughs> from now on, probably. And here's some more concrete. This may have to be done. I'll tell you something else I'm gonna do. Of course, these mesquite trees, I'm not sure about them yet. If they're not in the way, they're fine. But uh, I'm gonna put a, a like a horseshoe driveway, you know what I mean? Kind of a, uh, uh, like see where my trike is next to that tra trash can over there. Just kind of come in here, come up near the front of the house and then go around and back out, you know, horseshoe type. And then of course, you know, have a pad for the house and, and a carport a good crap gravel pad of some kind probably use road base again and then that that opening that where it horseshoes in here like this that opening all in there i'm going to do, have them zero scape it you know so we you know, put in you know gravel and stuff and uh cactus they actually have, they have an airport here i mean it's certainly not uh uh, a busy airport. Okay, that that is the plane right there. The plane, the plane. Remember that thing. So anyway, I'm gonna go over here. I'll end the video here in a couple of days, guys. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I was gonna put the house starting in here, but I think now I'm gonna move it right. That's that's gonna be my the back house, back of the house. Because these people up here, I know them. And they're certainly not going to be a problem because he's going to build his house. He's got a house there for his mother or mother-in-law. And then he's going to, he's over the hill there. He's got more uh, land and he's going to build him a house on the other side. So where he's got a good view. So this will be perfect for me. I'll be further from the street. And uh, so that should work out. I'm glad I came out here today. Because, you know, that's how you polish the diamond. You kind of, you know, you kind of look and scratch and look and scratch. You know what I mean? And that's the way that goes. And then this low spot right here won't be an issue at all because when he builds a road, he can clean that up a little bit. 
And then that tree, that thing will have to go. Of course, we already talked about that. But let's go down here and I'll end the video by the trike. You know, this grass is wet because it sprinkled rain this morning. So not only are my feet covered with little weed particles and stuff, but this mystery hole here, you know, it's only about, you can't see the bottom of it, but I can. It's about two feet deep, but it's, this is concrete, so I don't know. Maybe they had a, what do you call it, you know, where you put canned goods and stuff, a little cellar of some kind. So it uh, doesn't matter. It'll all work out. The first thing I got to do is get water. And I don't know why they wouldn't let me have water. I can't, that's one of the things I can't figure out. I mean, you can see these people have water. You come around here. These people have water. All those people have water. The water line runs down this street. There's a water hookup over there by that telephone post. I don't understand. We're going to find out, though. You can rest sure of that. I ain't going to let go of this dog. But having said that, guys, from Milano, Texas, on a nice day, Rusty's out here with trike men triking along. I'll trike back in a minute with what's left of my soda water. <laughs> Can't believe that. Anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny if you don't fool with it. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, keep your health, stand guard, door your mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and live your life one day at a time. Adios, amigos, until next time. Bye.